Good morning guys and welcome to the channel. Hope you all are having a great day. I am trying to hide a car that is right over here, although depending on what I title this episode of the vlog, I shouldn't bother hiding it because you're gonna know, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna title it yet. So I'm looking here at the C7ZR1 instead. I can give you a hint though, if I, if I come over here like this and just show right there. That doesn't give it away. We're gonna get to that in a minute, but uh, first we gotta focus on the C7ZR1 because we gotta get in all the C7 content we can before that C8 gets here. And I'm telling you, that five months is gonna go by like that. That's right, I fully expect to have a C8 Corvette here in the garage by early, early January. So it's not far away at all. I think the best part about the C8 is that unless you're really really just like a diehard front engine fan for whatever reason, you're not giving up anything. It's not like they got rid of the V8 um, or unless you're a diehard manual fan, but trust me, a dual clutch is a really, really fun transmission. It's faster. It's not like this. It's not like a regular automatic with a torque converter. It's very responsive um, and it's a lot better than, than your average auto. So a lot of people are calling it an automatic, but it's really not. It's a, it's a dual clutch. It's different than an auto. Being a car guy, like a lot of car guys, I usually don't like to use my AC. For whatever reason, I've always felt like it's it's hard on the car, and it's, I feel guilty using AC for some reason. I, I'd much rather cruise with the windows down. But I'm telling you, it is too hot for that nonsense today and for the next day or two. 95 degrees, like just full humidity it is hot out it is a rough one boys the all black zr1 is feeling the heat happy to have great working ac and air conditioned seats incoming comments from people in texas like oh my god you don't even know what hot is it's been 175 degrees here every day for the past 18 years and 50 roll Got your top down or is it too hot for that? To F that. Exactly. It's so <laughs> hot out. Right, all right, all right. Do you guys have a Jeep? It'd be a lot cooler if you did. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. But luckily you can win this one right here. The Jeep giveaway is now live. We got Jeep front end kits available on the website now as well. You can see the uh, kind of red tattered flag there. We have all different colors and whatnot and different designs. Uh, but the Jeep giveaway is live. Nine days left to win our built Jeep when you see this upload. Actually, it's going to be eight days for a lot of you watching it the next day. Um, there you go. Every five bucks spent on InShaneDesigns.com is an entry to win that beep right there. Can't believe it. It's gone so fast. And we wanted this giveaway to be short. You know, it's only a month. But, um... I didn't think it would go. I didn't think it would go this quick. I feel like I was I feel like I was just launching it. Just in case you haven't seen our Jeep in a while or maybe you never have before, this is it. This is the built Jeep we're giving away. Jeep Wrangler JK on a 4-inch lift. Beadlock Steely's on here. Now we are getting new wheels for you because they got a little bit rusty when we went off-roading with it. So we got all new wheels that will be mounted shortly. Steel bumpers full-size spare in the back. Corsa exhaust right down here for you, and we took the tips off because a lot of people did not like the chrome tips with the blacked out look of the rest of the Jeep, which we get it. So we are painting the tips black, or potentially we can even leave them, I mean, you can do it yourself too. It takes five seconds, but um, in case you want like the more stealthy look, you can't even really see it from the back like that. But we do have the Corsa exhaust on there. Sounds great. As I set off the alarm, okay, alarm is off. Now the best part of the beep by far is this right here, the fun stick. It is in fact a manual and we do have those new wheels, well one of them in the back. New brake lines as you can see, new brakes all the way around. So it's gonna be a reliable daily driver for you. It'll take you anywhere. Steel bumper up front with the bull bar and a 9,500 pound winch. LED headlights, LED lighting with the bar and the pods. All makes for a really cool Jeep. Definitely don't miss your chance to win. <laughs> it's a Corvette part job, dude. 
No, dude, I gotta get my New Balance on next time I drive it. I know that you guys have seen most of the products before, but uh, I'm not gonna put you through all that, but the new ones we got, the MAGA key tag, the Mud Life key tag. That's kinda cool. That's you now, you got a Raptor. I know, I, that, that's cool, I like, that's cool. It is cool. And the backpack, the camo backpack, in case you're going back to school, we won't talk about it because that's, I know that sucks. <laughs> but, if you're, but if you're going back to school, we got backpacks for you. We got the olive drab, like war knife, and it's not like actually used. It looks like that. It's really cool looking. The double camo hat with the multi cam flag patch in the front. We also have brand new ZR1 posters you can get. I'll put a picture up on the screen real quick. You can get those signed or unsigned, but uh, just a few items for you to enter to win the Jeep. Cheap, you know, they go from 10 bucks to 40 bucks with the backpack and basically anything in between. And this is a Kia Stinger GT, I think. It's actually really, really cool. A very unique and different car from Kia, but I think they're, I think they're pretty neat. I've seen a few of them. That color is fantastic. Is that actually, that's paint, not a wrap. That's great. I like it. It sounds good too. It's got like, like, yeah. That's what I said. I said the uh, key fob looks like one of those like Zippo lighters. Oh, okay. Like, look, cause the unlock button's like. Oh wow, yeah. I like the wheels too. The Advan. What are they? Uh, yeah. Advan? I, or they're AD? I don't know. So. Oh no, they're not. I never they're... thought once about these cars. TSW then. And then I saw like this in this color with the wheels. I'm like. Yeah, it's like Nardo Gray. Yeah. Black chrome on the mirror, that's neat. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well done, yeah. Like, it, like, it, like, I never thought I'd say it, well done. Yeah, yeah, well, here's the test. I walked in and thought it was an S7 for a second. He's so like that, same, that's like, all you need to know. Yeah, yeah well like, done, well done. Yeah, GT all-wheel drive, that's pretty cool. Definitely a bargain as well. You get a great warranty at a good price. And even though the giveaway is going really quick, I guess that is the good news. You won't have to hear the merch play. In about nine days, you won't have to hear me do any more merch plugs. I promise. Okay, we're back at home, and I guess now that the other stuff is out of the way, we can get to the new car reveal. And uh, it's really neat. I'm excited about it. I don't know how the audience is gonna feel about it because it's something definitely different than anything I've had before, but there's a really funny backstory to it. And uh, it, it's pretty, it's a pretty cool story as well. So anyway, three, two, one. It is in fact, as I'm sure the title and thumbnail already ruined, it is in fact a GT 500. The same one you guys might've seen in last night's upload. And uh, you know, I was kind of talking about it there and I was like, you know, how do you guys feel about this car? And you know, what should I get this? Well, the deal was already done at that point. And I, I basically, accidentally bought it and we'll talk about that in a second but what do you guys think it is epic i love it the, when i saw the black i had to get it to match the zr1 and i wanted to make the ultimate american garage so all i'm missing is a dodge here and maybe i'll pick one up somewhere i got to get a dodge of some kind but uh this is a 2012 gt500 all black really cool like gunmetal wheels gt500 lip spoiler the fake gas cap the classic mustang gas cap thing in the center of the trunk with the shelby lettering across i mean there is so much to talk about i'm just like picking out random things and being like look it has this but there's so much to talk about i'll be saving all that for a later upload but all you got to know right now is we have a gt500 in the garage and i've talked about getting a mustang now for like two or three years and I finally did it. And the main reason is because this is my favorite generation. And on YouTube, you know, there are so many S550 Mustangs and I get it, it's a great car. But the only person I think with one of these is that dude in blue and it's not a GT500. So it's a little bit different. You got JD Joyride and it has a GT500. Um, but I think that's a previous generation to this one. And this is my favorite part right here. The S197 front end, I think is the meanest looking front end, one of the best looking front ends on a car ever. It's so mean, so sinister in the all black. And I mean, that was like, I saw it. My, the first picture I saw of it was this angle right here. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty nasty, but let me, <laughs> let's get in this thing and go for a drive. You know, it's real. Got the key tag already installed. <laughs> with all American muscle. 
and this thing is so sweet. I can't wait to dive in to this and start modifying it. And a lot of you guys are really, really smart. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of you guys are very, very uh, smart because in the last upload, when I was driving this at the dealership, people noticed that I had my garage door opener up here and that my phone was connected to it. And I mean, you gotta be really paying attention to pick that stuff out. So people were like, some people were like, you already bought it, didn't you? And that, I think that was pretty cool um, that people, that anybody could notice that. But anyway, let's do it. Hey boys, driving the GT500 on, not the first drive, my second drive, because I did drive it home, but it's been sitting in the garage now for about 12 hours. And <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I walked out into my garage many times during the night and just kind of stared at it because it's, I mean, I got a GT500 and a ZR1 now. You might be wondering, Mike, how do you accidentally buy a car? And the story is pretty funny. Um, God, it's nice. <laughs> oh my God. Um, wow, that's fun. This thing came across the auction block and I've been thinking about getting one for a while. I've been playing around with the idea, kind of like my idea with the ZR1, even though it didn't work out. I wanted the last, you know, manual big power Corvette because I had a hunch they were going dual clutch only for the C8. And we all know the new GT500 is dual clutch only, no manual option. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have the last, you know, manual big power Corvette and the last big power manual GT500 back when they were all manual. Um, not that I think this is going to be worth any money because this is a 2012. And the most desirable one is the 2013, and I think the 20. I think they also made it in 2014. That's the one with 662 horsepower. This one has only a measly 540, which is, you know, just that's so. It's basically a Honda Civic at this point. Um, so this, I don't think it's going to be like valuable. I'm not buying it for like an investment, but I just thought it'd be neat, and I thought it might hold its value pretty well. So the car, so this car comes up on the auction block, by the way, has 2,300 miles on it. It's essentially brand new. Old guy owned it, one owner car, really nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's essentially brand new. I'll show you guys the whole car, you know, in, in an upcoming video, but it's like a brand, it's like I just got it off the showroom floor. And um, I was talking to Beaver about it. He was at the auction. He was like, yeah, you know, I'm buying cars for the dealership like he does every weekend. And uh, I was like, well, you know, if this car comes across, and it's for mid 30s, like 35 grand. If I can get out the door with it for 35, I'll take it. And kind of like half joking, you know, and just thinking that it wasn't gonna, number one, I didn't, I didn't think it'd be that cheap. And I thought somebody else would really try to scoop it up, but it kind of flew under the radar. And uh, number two, you know, I just didn't really, I didn't figure it would happen. I guess I felt like he was gonna call or, you know, say like, oh, well, it's going for like 37, do you want it? And I'd be like, nah, you know, I don't need it. And like six hours later, he calls and he's like, hey, I got your car. And I was like, what? And he was, <laughs> and he was like, I got your car, the GT500. He was like, yeah, it was sold for like 34 something. And I was like, oh, okay. So that was it. And that's the story on, on how I got, uh, how I ended up with the GT500. So I really kind of accidentally bought this car. Now, of course, like I didn't have to take it. He was gonna sell it himself if I didn't want it, but I got it and now I have, I am the proud owner of a 2012 GT500. And I have to say, it is really, really cool. I mean, not only because it's a one owner and it's super clean, but that kind of makes the whole thing better. I mean, wait till you guys see it. Like, it's a brand new car. And I plan to go to like some Ford events with it so uh, some people can see it up close. But the shifter feel is great. And you guys know I've wanted a manual car back in the garage for a while. And now I got it. And this thing is a, it's a ton of fun. It might be the older version of the GT500. I think it's a 5.4 liter uh, supercharged V8. And the, the one in 2013 then was a 5.8 liter, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Not a huge Ford guy, so I might make, make some mistakes, but I'm learning. Um, and it, you know, it might not have 660, but it doesn't feel slow at all. Like when you get on it, it's pretty, it, the thing moves. Got so much torque that it just, there's no lag. You know, it's not like a turbo car where you're waiting for the power to come on. I mean, it's right there all the time. So we'll do a nice little uh, second gear. supercharger wine is epic now you do have to be careful it's a mustang you can see i'm braking early for this really sharp corner it's a big heavy car you know it's probably about four thousand pounds god that's good 
Mustangs do get that bad rap though because people wreck them. And the problem with the Mustang is that it's not a bad car, it's not a bad handling car. It's a car that's very powerful and very fast and very cheap. So people that have no idea how to drive have no business being behind uh, a rear wheel drive car that's got 400 horsepower can buy them and can afford them and then they crash them. And you see this a lot with supercars too because you know people a lot of times like you know a celebrity or whatever will come into money. They have no idea how to drive. You know it's not like they started out with something small. Like I kind of progressed so I learned a lot until I got to a 800 horsepower car. Um, they just kind of go out and buy one so they wreck them. And that's what happens with Mustangs. They're not hard to drive. They're not hard to control. You just have to know and you have to respect it because with a lot these older ones with the live axle and everything and I'm not sure I'm pretty sure the GT500 still had the live axle I know the Cobras in 04 did not um, I'm pretty sure these do but you just got to respect them they handle really well it's just different you know it's a little less forgiving than some modern cars might be Jesus it's not slow I mean at all yeah, I mean, at all. It actually kind of feels faster than the 540 horsepower would suggest. Like, it doesn't feel 200 horsepower less. It doesn't feel like it has 200 less horsepower than my ZR1. That's what Mustangs do well because they have a softer suspension and it is a bigger car. So, like, in a Mustang, when you floor it, like, you fly back in your seat, you can feel the car squat down, and it's a whole thing, so they feel quick. Can't tell, I am loving it so far, and many, many more GT500 videos to come. Hope you guys are excited, uh, as well as a whole build series, because if you thought I was going to leave it stock, you're wrong. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. We are stopped in the middle of the road. Just having a conversation, I guess. I forget where I was. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the GT500 in the comments. Take care and have a great night.